Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to collect shared mailbox email messages and save them to SharePoint document library. So stay tuned and let's go to the demo after this short intro. Now, if you are interested in saving email body and attachments to a SharePoint list, I've made another video on this topic, which you can access by clicking the link on the top right corner of this video. Now, let's carry on with the original topic. First, I will create a shared mailbox in Office 365 and give myself permission to manage this mailbox. Then I will create a Power Automate flow, which will listen to this shared mailbox and forward the incoming emails to SharePoint document library automatically. I will also capture some email properties in SharePoint document library metadata fields like email from, address, and date received. Now we have set the scene, so let's crack on. I'm inside Office 365 landing page. From the top left corner, I will click on this ellipsis and go to admin. Here, under this groups drop down, I can see shared mailboxes link, so I will click on it. This will show me any shared mailboxes in this Office 365 tenant. I already got one customer's shared mailbox. I will create a new one, add a shared mailbox. I will click on that. I will give this a name. I will just call it test. The email address will be test at domain in your tenant. So I will click on save. Now the shared mailbox is created. You can now add members to your shared mailbox or you can just cross this one and come back and click on the mailbox name. And then here you can do various things. One of them is how to add members into shared mailbox. So this is where I will show you, you can add members to this shared mailbox. So if I click on edit and click on add members and then I will select my name and click save and click close. Now my name is added as a member in this shared mailbox which means I got access to this shared mailbox as well. Click on close. Now the shared mailbox is set up. Now if I go back to Office 365 I need to navigate to SharePoint side where I will be saving the incoming emails in a document library so I need to set that up. I'll go to SharePoint training site. From here I can create a document library. So if I go to site content and click on new document library I will just call it incoming email library and by default there are some columns there with the name column. I will just add another column, single line text. So this will be the from email address column. So we can save the information there. Let me add another column. So the date the email is received. This will be a date and time column. Save. We're going to populate the from address and the date received as well as the, the email message in this document library. Next, I will create a Power Automate flow which will route the email to the document library. So from the Office 365 left hand menu, I can see the Power Automate icon here. So I will click on that. This will take me into the Power Automate application landing page. From the left hand menu, I need to click on create and then I need to select automated flow because I want that email when it arrives in that shared mailbox automatically um, go to the document library. So I will click on the automated flow. I will give this flow a name, just call it test email. And then the trigger for this will be when an email arrived in a shared mailbox. So when I type mailbox, I can see that when an email is arrived in a shared mailbox trigger. So I will select that, click create. Now in this trigger, I need to provide the mailbox address. We know we have created that test mailbox earlier on, so we'll provide that address here. And then if I go to show advanced option, make sure that you select include attachments to yes. So if you don't select that, although the, you will see that email will have attachments, but when you open it, it will not open, it will throw errors. So make sure that you include attachments here. Okay, the next step we want is to export this email. So I will just type export. So export email of the 365 Outlook action. I need to select that. And then the message ID, I will provide the message ID from the previous step. So message ID will go there. So the next step is we're going to create the record in the library. So we need to create a new document in the library with this email message. So the action we want is the create file SharePoint action. We will select site address, training site, and the folder path is going to be the document library path, which we have created earlier on, incoming email. And the file name, I will put subject here. But now in the document library, if a new email arrive in the future with the same subject, it, the workflow will fail because it will say that this document already exists. Now to make it unique, I can just put hyphen and then maybe I just put receive time. So this will make this subject unique 
for each file so the file name will be unique and one more thing i need to do is i need to save this file as a type .eml so this will be the message type and then the file content is going to be the body of the exported email action on the previous step so i will select the body if i close this one and then open it again i notice this happened in power automate that .eml extension is gone so if i just make sure that you close and open again and see that if it's gone you put it back in .eml now this time if i close it and open this action it's, it's staying there so i don't know why it's happening but it happens to me so i'm just making you aware that it could happen to you as well so the next step is going to be i need to update the properties for this library as well so if i go back to the library so we have from address and date received these are the two properties we need to populate with this message file as well so if i go back to power automate click on new step so i'm interested in update file properties so i'll select that action of sharepoint i will give this site address again and the library name is going to be incoming email and the id now we can get the id from the previous create file step item id and from address this is when the email arrived we have from address as well and the date received that's again when an email arrived in the share mailbox we have received time so we'll put that information there so just to do a summary we have we had a trigger which will look into this test mailbox and we made attachment to yes included and then we exported the email and provided a message ID from the previous step. And then we created a file with .eml extension and the file content will be body of this exported message. And then we updated the file properties for that file. So I will click on save, which will save this workflow so we can test it. So the workflow is saved. Now I will send an email to this test shared mailbox and I will put a subject, I'll just call it, this is a test subject and this will be the body of the email. I can attach a document. I can go to browse to this computer. So I'm attaching this sample PDF file here. I will click on send. Now I will wait for a little bit. Once the workflow run, then we should see the email message here. I will pause the video for now and come back when the email message is arrived. Now the workflow is running. So if I click on this one, I can see the workflow ran successfully. If I go back to the library, I can see a new record is created here and the from address and date receive also populated. And this is going to be .eml message type as you can see here. So if I click on this link, this will open up the email body in the browser. And you can see that the attachment sample PDF attachment is there as well. So if I click on download, this will download this email message locally to my PC. So if I click on that, it will open that message and also any attachment with it. So if I click on the attachment, so the attachment will be opened here. So to just do a wrap up of this video, today you have learned how to collect shared mailboxes, email messages and save them into Shape and Document Library along with other metadata properties. And you can also download them and view an attachment with the email as well. Thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as I upload new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have any question regarding this topic or any other query related to Office 365, put in the comment section below. I review my comments on the daily basis. I will be happy to answer. Thank you.